No. <laughs> one of the things that was one of the most popular parts of our conversation last time, Robert, was there's a section where we talked about the different types of sugar and diet cokes and mm -hmm. Coke Zeros and all these kinds of things. But, you know, I, if I, I'm, I can see a couple of cans on the desk over there where, where Jack is um, in the darkness that I can vaguely see. And these cans of fizzy drink, they all have some kind of sugar substitute. Yep. yep. Are those sugar substitutes harmless? No, <laughs> of course not. Um, a paper just came out like three days ago in Annals of Neurology uh, basically showing that uh, uh, non-nutritive sweetener consumption, so diet sweetener consumption, uh, correlates with dementia. And we think we know why. Reactive oxygen species, so oxygen radicals, uh, little chemicals that are given off from various substances that cause changes in energy metabolism in cells and also cause damage in cells. ROSs, reactive oxygen species. The famous ones are aspartame and sucralose. Do monk fruit extract, do stevia, does allulose, also cause reactive oxygen species. I very specifically looked for data on those, could not find it. But for aspartame and for sucralose, the two biggest ones that are available today, the ones that are used in a lot of diet drinks, huge amounts of ROS generation. ROS. So, uh, reactive oxygen species generation. Anything that generates ROSs contributes to uh, dementia. Is the evidence strong at this stage? 